بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My name is Tarek Al Tawil. I'm one of the orthopedic surgeons at the National Institute of Neuromotor System in Cairo. I'm presenting an interesting case today on complex total hip replacement on top of previous shoulder operation for DDH in a 26 years old woman. This is the X-ray that the uh, patient presented to us with, and uh, obviously you can see a plate uh, for correctable osteotomy uh, when she had this uh, dislocation of the hip, and you can see the subluxational mushrooming of the head, the shallow stabulum and you can see the donor side of the graft that we take for the uh, sorter operation. And this is trying to make a frog view uh, for a lateral view of the femur. And you can see how the head uh, is quite large. Now, this is the X-ray that the child had and that she still uh, keeps with her uh, in uh, 1990 maybe 24 years before the time I saw her and it shows that the operation was quite successful and the head is nicely contained and obviously the uh, deformity of the uh, femur uh, to uh, contain the uh, head, the osteotomy I would say but now for me as a, uh, uh, an arthroplasty surgeon is a deformity and this is the lateral view and this uh, will put the two views together to show you uh, the uh, coxa vera I would say and the um, anterior angulation on the lateral view and these are the documents that we uh, have regarding her operation uh, obviously open reduction, solter operation and subtrochanteric um, osteotomy and this was on the uh, 5th of uh, March 1989 and then she came on the 5th of July 1989 same year to have the uh, K-wires removed, extraction of K-wires and now uh, back again to this uh, situation that we have she has obvious shortening due to proximal migration of the uh, femur. Uh, she has uh, this uh, slight angulation on the AP view, uh, which is more clear on the uh, lateral view. She has mushrooming of the head, subluxation, a very shallow acetabulum, but a good medial wall. And uh, you have to do a CT scan always before planning to do any operation you have to do a CT scan and this is uh, the CT scan shows the obvious subluxation of the head the metal work inside and if we look at uh, these cuts this is the normal hip this is the affected one and you can notice how uh, shallow the stablum is on uh, different slides so Back again to the AP view, and to sum up, we have uh, four major problems. The adduction and shortening of the lower limb, and in this case, if uh, I do a total hip replacement to uh, release this femur a bit and trying to bring it down, uh, I do, uh, before the total hip, uh, percutaneous adductor tenotomy, and uh, then while operating on the uh, hip uh, I do release of the abductors from their attachment to the greater trochanter by cutting the anterior one-fourth, one-third, one-half or even three-quarters of the attachment and keep uh, just one-fourth uh, attached I uh, never detach it completely um, and for the uh, flexors, for the iliopsoas I may do a uh, good release from the uh, lesser to counter, uh, may not be complete or sometimes complete uh, to give us uh, 
to, to free the uh, femur and to be able to bring it down. And now we have the astabular problem, which is uh, shallow, large and shallow. And this uh, uh, should not deceive you while doing the total hip replacement. If you are going to ream the whole astabulum, you will have a, a new uh, position with proximal migration of the center of the hip. And then you have uh, to be careful and you do your reaming in the lower part of the acetabulum here, which is the original uh, position of the uh, acetabulum. And now we have the uh, femoral problem, which is the uh, deformity, uh, which was obvious on the lateral view. And you have to be sure if you are going to use a standard stem, whether this will uh, be able to pass through this medulla or not. And now we have the major uh, problem of this case, which is the plate and screws problem, and they have been there for 24 years, as you are going to see later on some other X-ray views, completely buried in the bone. So uh, I would like you to take a few seconds, have a look at the X-ray, uh, check the situation, and think how would you. Uh, sort this uh, problem out before you uh, proceed into this uh, case. And so we've taken her to theater to do examination under anesthesia and have uh, various views of the hip under the image intensifier and do a quick percutaneous adductor tenotomy. Uh, this are three uh, uh, views of what we've uh, uh, seen under the uh, anesthesia and image intensifier. And as you can see from this one, that the plate is totally buried under the uh, uh, bone, which makes its removal a difficult uh, 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 work to do. And on the, uh, this view, which may not be a perfect lateral, but you can see the obvious um, angulation of the femur and this view as well. And simply, uh, you take these views, put them on the computer and try to do some drawings as I'm going to show you. Um, so we take the uh, X-rays, put it on the computer and using very simple uh, programs on the computer and make a drawing to see if we can pass uh, a stem into this uh, medulla. Obviously, you can see yes, it's wide enough to have a canal on the AP view and avoiding touching the uh, plate. And here, again, yes, you can, but if you go quite anterior, if you use the standard uh, entry. Uh, you may go and penetrate the anterior cortex. And on the lateral view, again, uh, with this drawing, but your uh, uh, starting uh, point should be quite anterior. And again, uh, on the AP, you make simple drawings for the um, acetabulum. And uh, from this drawing, you may notice that to have uh, the uh, cup uh, put in the uh, anatomical site of the uh, acetabulum, you uh, may have slightly to penetrate the uh, medial wall. But this is uh, not a major uh, problem in total heat replacement. And the question is, can we remove the screws alone? Uh, yes, we can. We plan to use uh, this uh, apple core uh, bit, and actually we had to do a complete incision, not percutaneously, <coughs> exposing the uh, femur under the image intensifier, and luckily we could uh, get the four screws out. So uh, we uh, kept her for about uh, one and a half to two months to allow the wound to heal and the bone to heal. And we 
uh, started uh, our operation as planned. We uh, did the exposure. We uh, released some of the abductors attached to the greater. We released uh, some of the iliosoas from the lesser trochanter. And now we were not deceived by the uh, large astablum here and we reamed only in the uh, lower part of the astablum uh, uh, in the original uh, uh, astablum and uh, we used a rather small cup as we didn't we, we couldn't uh, make it any large as make it larger we have to go deeper and then will be uh, uh, more penetration into the uh, pelvis. So we're satisfied with this size, uh, uh, stabilizing it with a couple of screws. And now uh, with the femur uh, uh, down to the uh, normal uh, height, we applied the plate uh, safely. We were sure that uh, we will not touch the, uh, uh, the plate inside while inserting the uh, rasps and the stem and uh, as you can see this is again to show you the uh, pre-op plan and that we succeeded to apply and uh, if you have a quick look at these drawings you would find that the center of the hip is almost the same height as that on the uh, normal side and the two greater trochanters are almost the same height and this is the uh, young lady after the operation standing with the pelvis quite um, uh, balanced and here the uh, front. And now you uh, can see here quite uh, walking. And um, back to the x-ray, this is, uh, I believe, uh, clearer x-ray. And uh, what I'd like to comment here is a message to the uh, colleagues, to the dear colleagues, to the pediatric surgeons. While doing this operation, you should be very careful while taking the graft for the sorter operation because this is the situation when they become mature and when they become old. And if you compare this uh, uh, operation site to the normal site, this is quite a large bit, a large bit of the pelvis has been taken, and obviously the uh, physis uh, was damaged by that time. So you should be quite careful when you take your uh, graft. And uh, I would like to show all of you uh, this uh, view under the image intensifier. And it shows clearly how the plate is away, is not touching the stem of the processes, thus avoiding uh, making battery effect, which would lead to erosion of uh, both metals. And this is 18 months after the operation, still doing uh, quite well. X-ray looks nice, everything in position, no uh, loosening. And the uh, patient is uh, quite happy, as you see here. Thank you for watching and I hope to meet you again with another case.